All right, let's review two-step equations. So in problem number one, we have 3x, which is the variable term. We have negative 5, a constant, and it equals 16, the constant. 3x you can think of as being, like, hooked together, so I'm going to highlight that. And I need to move whatever is next to 3x on that side of the equation. So let's draw our line down the middle. So next to 3x would be negative 5. So the opposite of negative 5 would be positive 5. So I'm going to add 5 to each side. So I still have 3x. Negative 5, positive 5 make 0. I have equals 16 and 5 is 21. Now I need to move the coefficient away from x, so the coefficient is 3. So to move 3, that says 3 times x, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and I end up with x equals 7, and I'm done. Alright, so take a look at problem 2. You could pause the video now and try it on your own, and then check it. So once again, 2 and x are hooked together. Think about what else is over on that side of the equation. That would be the positive 14. Since it's positive 14, I would need to subtract 14 from each side. So I have 2x equals negative 10, negative 14 is negative 24. Now find your x. Stuck to x as a coefficient is 2. So I'm going to now divide, that says 2 times x, the opposite would be dividing, so divide by 2, and I end up with x equals negative 24. Alright, moving on to problem 3. Once again, think about what's hooked to the variable. So hooked to it right now is this 2. On the same side as the variable, we have positive 8. So I'm going to start out by subtracting 8. So I have x divided by 2 equals 6 take away 8 is negative 2. Once again, think where x is. So here's x. What's hooked to x would be 2. You are now dividing by 2. So what is the opposite of dividing? Multiplying. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So I'm going to times 2 on both sides. Negative 2 divided by 2, or times 2, sorry, dividing by 2 and multiplying by 2 makes 1. So I'm just left with x. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So my final answer, x equals negative 4. Okay, once again, find x. Here it is. What's stuck to it? 3. What's on the same side as x divided by 3 would be negative 5. What's the opposite of subtracting 5? Adding 5. So do that to both sides. So I have x divided by 3 equals 6. Once again, find x. Here it is. What's on the same side as x? That would be 3. This says x divide 3. What's the opposite of dividing? Multiplying. So I end up with x equals 18. Okay, highlight your x terms. So you notice this one's a little different. We actually have two. So 3x and 5x, those are the same exact variable. So you can combine your coefficients. What's 3 plus 5? That makes 8, and it's still x. That equals 16. Now I need to move 8. How do you move it? Figure out what's happening right now. That says 8 times x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 8. So I end up with x equals 2. Okay, once again, highlight your variable terms. So I have negative 2y and negative 3y. 
those are both the same exact variables. So to combine them, you combine the coefficients, the number in front, negative two, take away three is negative five y, and that equals negative 10. Once again, you can draw a line down the middle if that helps you. Think about where what's by y. So here's my y, in front of it would be negative five. That says negative five times y. So the opposite or inverse operation would be to divide. I need to divide by a negative. So we end up with y equals 10 divided by five is two. Here's how you tell your signs. The opposite of a negative would be positive. So my final answer is y equals positive 2.